politicize my franchise and a list of other rights that you know are stated in the constitution but just as much as i know my constitution and my rights i believe that there are a lot of people who do not know their rights and who confuse rights and privileges given to them by the government that they vote in for you know one and the mm. other so we're going to talk about why nigerians especially you know, the average Nigerian, why they always confuse most of the things that the government do to them that is rightfully theirs mm. as a privilege. Because it's now, it's, it's, it's not news. It's not mm. even rocket science mm. that a lot of Nigerians do not even know what is due them mm. from the government. Mm. So that's what we're going to talk about. And then when we subsequently, we can talk about other areas of life where we confuse privileges and rights, mm. interchange, interchange them mm. for each other in the use of things. So my name is Wealth Wilson. I don't know what I'm I'm popularly known as <laughs> <laughs> but i would just say i'm popularly known as wealth wilson and i'm not going to be doing this show alone this show is called conversations we must have and i'm pretty sure you've seen other episodes it's the bomb so what you're going to do is you're going to sit tight call your friends call your family and if you can't ha assess them directly maybe send them a link to the show so they can enjoy what we have to share for you but until then let me introduce you to the crew Chiwa Yvonne Obi Wonko, popularly known as Mommy Jed, aka <laughs> aka Mommy Jed. Nedixin, popularly known as Nedixin, <laughs> <laughs> aka Nedixin. Like you said, I'm King Sport in Guinea, and they call me the King of the Airwaves. Oof. Okay. <laughs> <Surprise>. <laughs> All right, you guys, you're welcome. So, um, today we're going to be talking about rights and privileges, mm. and as I said, we're going to start first with the Nigerian problem of confusing our uh, rights mm. for privilege. Mm. So, you know, in this, let's take for example this state, right? People tell you that oh, the governor is building, you know, bridges, mm. flyovers, flyovers, he's making roads, he's building mm. schools. Oh my God. This has not happened before. Mm. We are lucky to have this mm. kind of governor. And, you, and you're wondering in your head, bro, do you know that it is constitutional mm. that the government provides you good mm. roads, good mm. education, yeah. and even to an extent, a livable, yeah. a, you know, a livable condition yeah. for you and your yeah. family. Yeah. And then people go, oh, no, 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 no. Do you, have you seen previous governments? Mm. They did not do anything. Mm. And yada, 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 mm. yada. So mm. I want a good explanation <laughs> as to why as a people, we have not just become so mediocre in our expectations, but we now believe that when the government do something that is due yeah, us, right. mm. we then believe like it is the government showing us some sense of sympathy and love that we should be very thankful mm. and grateful for. Mm. Mm. I think it's a mindset. I think over the years is what we're used to as Nigerians, because if you go to developing countries and developed countries, mm -hmm. those are basics. I mean... They are basics. You have the right to good water, good light, light, 24-hour electricity, good road. You have the right to everything basic. They are called yeah. basic amenities for a purpose yeah. because they are basic, yeah. basic things. So you see in Nigeria, and most times in Nigeria, the thing that happens to us is it's only during elections that you see them actually come. They come and put quota on the <laughs> and road. And they give us exactly. the bare minimum. Yeah. You know, come and put quota on the road and go to um, school. And I, you are doing... No, 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 no. You no, no. <laughs> it, is, it is basic. It is yeah. called basic for... That's what your taxpayers' money do. Yeah. That it's meant to provide you with all these basic amenities. So, but, so but, I think but, it's a it's a mindset thing. Yeah. It's the things we're used to. Yeah. We're used to it, so we have automatically just gone with the flow. Yeah, but in secondary school, they will teach us, you know, your rights and, you know, they, they usually will teach you these mm. things in civic mm. education. No, so no, why no. is the, it that we don't mm. we don't expect mm. those things? In short, we don't know how to place them. Mm. The, it's, it's not that it's not that we don't necessarily know you know rights and privileges place power in different persons like for for the issue of nigeria they they use the principle of starve them 
mm. and feed them small and see mm. them excited. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So they, they know. Mm. The leaders know. They know what they're doing. Mm. So they, they consciously make the situation go so bad mm. that when they do the lists, mm. they give us palliatives. Mm. You know, everybody's mm. jumping. Mm. Oh, what a savior. Mm. Oh, yeah. mm. that's rubbish. Mm. You know, so so that's that's the principle they are, they are using, making the human rights mm. look as privileges. Mm. So we, the receivers, you mm. know, for you to be praising someone for, for, for crying out loud when someone does what is legally meant to yeah, do. that is meant mm. to do legally, it should go silently. Yeah. Mm. You've done it so if there's any if there's any issue, the court should take care of it. Mm. But you see people take the fact they mobilize some persons mm. to to start the praise singing and all mm. but that, that that's because there is no adequate mm. measures to monitor yeah. whether human rights are being protected. All right, guys, um, but before we continue, let's go on a short break. When we come back, we will have so much more to say. Bye. Welcome back. It's still conversations we need to have. You know, whether human rights are being pro or, or are being dished out to full capacity. Or are being what abused. happens to the person that don't mm. that don't do the right mm. things? Mm. Okay. Kingsford. <laughs> In fact, he just took the words out of my mouth. Because what I wanted to say is that when you staff people of their right, mm. when you staff people of their right, they now see it. As a privilege, a privilege when you give it to yeah. them. Mm. And that's what's happening. Mm. And two, most people are ignorant. Mm. They are ignorant of what their right is. If you are ignorant of a thing, if I give it to you, mm. you are celebrating, you are jubilating, you are mm. happy. Mm. But it's something that is supposed to be yours. Mm. Yeah. But because of you are ignorant of that fact, you are happy. So most people, I don't want to say Nigerians, but most mm. of us, we are actually ignorant of what is our right and what is actually a privilege. Yeah. So good roads, mm. steady light. Mm. A good education, you know, even food ed- to an extent. Food yeah. to an extent. Food. Yeah. These are part of our mm. rights. Yeah. But we do mistake them as privileges. Okay. Mm. I did all that because I am a patriotic citizen. Clap for me, guys. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. So now we're going to extend this conversation, right? Mm. I'm going to give you a story and then we're going to see, try to balance it whether, mm. you know, it was rightful for the person involved to have demanded what I'm about to share. Mm. So there's this friend that I know, mm. right? Um, this young man, he is not very buoyant. Mm. He lives with his friend and the friend's wife, right? And then, um, you know, while he's living there, they feed him, they take care of him Mm. and just basically help him out because, as I said, he's not very buoyant. Now, fast forward to a couple years later when he starts to make a little money and he hits it, Mm. you know, he hits it big. And then he comes back to his friends that he used to um, live with and then he gives them some money, you know, invites them to his own house and they come mm. to the house, they see how big the house is, they see the cars he now has and he talks to them about the opportunities that are now on his table mm. and the kind of th- the kind of life he can now live. Mm. And then, you know, his friend and his wife, they're all happy and all that, but they go back home and his wife, that's the friend's wife, mm. tells the friend that their friend is ungrateful because with all the money he now has, she expects that he should at least send his friend at least if he say it's too small 20 million out of the said money so that he too can establish himself to the you know the ranks of where he now is and you know it's 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 a lo- it's something that would cause you know rancor amongst friends so do you think do you think that as friends he owes his friend that you know courtesy of giving him at least a huge amount of money for him to at least feel the impact of his new life status mm. <laughs> it's a deep one but um for me i think it's all about individuals it's all about what um what is up op- was obtainable even when he was living with them mm. so we all know he lives lived with them what's mm. the attitude given to him when they even want to serve him food mm. or give him food yeah but nonetheless yeah. they give no, him food no now. for whatever it's worth for whatever it's worth people see things differently mm-hmm. another thing you have to ask 
of all of this is that what kind of money did he make? Hmm. What is the source of his income? Because if somebody had work, yeah, willingly made that money, mm -hmm. 20 million is a whole lot for him to just give away. Mm. He has to be sure what his friends will use him for. Because this kind of wife that is telling you that if your husband, I can bet you that if that 20 million comes in, the woman will look for the next big car to buy. Hmm. That's the truth. Mm. So, but, but, truth. But, but she believes, whether or not she wants to squander the money or not, but she believes that being that they were friends, you know, and being that he assisted him through, you know, thick and thin mm. to you this know, point. In your story, you said he gave her him money. Yeah, but yeah. not as much as the wife would have expected. Okay. Because she's... Yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so, so you don't feel that it is the husband's right to demand See, from his friend no. some, no, 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 a no. percentage See, of the money? Well, there, is, there is this thing my dad teaches me. Say, if someone helps you, mm. say thank you. Mm. Many people have lost a lot of things about them because they are feeling indebted to person, mm. someone. Mm. When someone helps you, what you owe the person is thank you. What you should be doing... It should be out of your own will. Obligation, yeah. yeah. It's, you're not obligated. Mm. It's not your right. Your will, sorry. If you do it, mm. you do it. If you don't do it, mm. so you don't... You're not doing that. Uh, oh, I hope they will like this. So I hope... No, no, no. You're doing it because your personality, you mm. feel like doing it. Mm. You're a grateful person, you remember. But mm. you've already said thanks to mm. them mm. for mm. all they did for mm. you. You don't... It was not an investment. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you, you don't... You, don't you just help you along you just the way. On, yeah. It's like something position. my pastor mm. said on Tuesday. I think I'll call, go there. Something okay. my pastor said on Tuesday. He said, even for parents. Yeah. Don't say, I am training my children to come and take care of me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. It is your right as their parents to give them good education, to train them. Do you understand? Mm. If tomorrow your children decide not to help you, it is not your right. It's a privilege that yes. they come back. Yeah. It's a assistant. privilege that they okay. come back. So he said, don't do that. So you don't end up in pain. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Because your children also, you might train them and they get into a more developed, sane environment. Mm -hmm. And they begin to think like those people that feel, that know that it is a privilege. If I want to help my parents, it is a privilege for me to help okay. them. So, <laughs> I, I, want to say something. <laughs> I want to say something. Mm -hmm. yeah. if, if the parents owe the children the right to good education. Mm -hmm. I believe life is in vice versa. Mm -hmm. So, what's the right that the children owe their parents? To be good children. To be good children. That's so, what the Bible, that's so, what the, the, the Constitution says. Yeah. A good child they, will take care they, of his parents. Exactly. Yeah. That's why, that's why yeah. you have to be a that, good parent. Mm. If you train your children well, they will take care of you. Okay. Do you understand? But don't train them with the mindset, with that, mindset. that it is my right that when I train you, you now come and take so, care so of me. So, but we have <laughs> parents that, you know, train their children and say that, okay, let me give you an mm. example now. I have, I have a friend whose father tells her that she has to become a doctor mm. because he wants a doctor that will take care of him or treat him when he's old and his organs are failing, mm. right? He's preparing her for a right, isn't mm. he? The man is preparing yes. for his organs. Yes, <laughs> into a friend. <laughs> right? Yeah. And then she feels that she owes him the obligation mm. since she's, you know, going mm. to a good school. He's mm. giving her good allowances mm. and what have you. Mm. And she has to become that doctor. So, so it's, it's, it's an right? agreement. Mm. It's so the if, I, if, 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 if I become the doctor, I will just make sure that your organ... When it fails, I'm there to, mm. to do that. <laughs> so they need to sign a paper to make it legal. No, but it's your child now. Do you need to sign anything? <laughs> no, but I think... You can, you can just think, edge, edge them on the to do what you want. I think, man is I think that's... Yes, himself. and it's, 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 it's taking um, the right of parenting to... You are abusing the right abusing, of parenting. Abusing the child. Okay. You are abusing the right of parenting. Parenting, the right of parenting tells you, guide your children in the way they should go. Mm. There is a way every child should go. You don't. Impose. I don't know if I should say it here, but you don't. My gra my mom, my mom, always calls my first son, my doctor. Mm. He all. She always says, "I want him to be a doctor. I want him to be a doctor, right?" And she calls him till today. She calls him on the day my doc. Mm. And my t my son tells me. The day I'll tell grandma that I'm actually, I want to be an engineer, 
it will break her heart. <laughs> because he knows. Yeah. yeah. Do you understand? It's not, I don't force you. So now the little one now is saying, I want to be a doctor. I said, oh, fine. And he tells my first son tells me, but doesn't grandma know that I can actually be a doctor of engineer? Mm. I might finish and do a PhD yeah. and get mm. a doctor. So you don't enforce <laughs> you. I don't know. Yeah, yeah you it, don't superimpose. Just, yes. yeah. Parents wanting to live in their children. No, you don't yeah. do that. It is against the right of parenting. Yeah. So, so that's what the yeah, demand because, is. Uh, why, why it's dangerous is because as a, as a parent, you are, at times you are judging with your generation, mm, with mm. the level of knowledge available at that time. Mm. These children will grow up. There is something God does. He puts something special mm. in a child to prepare him for his his own generation. So you are judging, you are disposing, you are seeing other people's children. Uh, like doctor. this mm. Mazi, mm. this Mazi, <laughs> uh, that's, the, he has one chemist, uh -huh. one pharmacy. Mm. So your, your, mm. your judgment is clouded. Mm. But yeah. if you give that child an opportunity, mm. there's a way God prepares every generation to mm. think. Mm. And the child finds a way and say, okay, this is what I want yes. to do. You know, mm. in the near future, the child may make mistakes, mm. but you are there to guide. Mm. Yeah. You know, not say, mm. because you didn't you listen. Are, no, uh, and you, you are giving allowance. Yeah. You must be doctor yeah. to take care yeah. of. No, it doesn't make okay. sense. Okay. So, but since in, you know, both families and in relationship, we seem to always interchange rights and privileges. Mm. Like, we don't know where to draw the line. Mm. So, can we spell out what rights in a friendship or in a relationship that each person should enjoy? And what extends into entitled privileges that we expect and call our rights. Mm. Okay, yeah. in relationships, let me let me let me say from <laughs> because I'm a certified I'm a certified family life practitioner. Okay. Now you yes. don't know. I am <laughs> the wrong this thing. So see eh, in a relationship, any type of relationship, siblings, parents and child, husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend mm -hmm. general friends the right to respect one another is a right yeah. the right to love one another is a right the right to personal spaces mm. so when there are sometimes i say okay i just want to be alone there can can you say that in your in your married home? Because some husband perceive that you know once I'm married to you, your space is my space. No, you don't. You don't do that. You don't do that. There are sometimes see, eh, and why the right to personal spaces? Why it's very important mm -hmm. is because it gives you as a spouse the right to recoup. Yeah, there's a time where you are just overwhelmed and you need and to you find just yourself need that to recoup, just like the ego. Do you understand? Yeah. Even children, they are like this time. This my children's school comes and says there is holiday. I said they are not going mm. because in my house, when school is end, school is ending. Exactly. There is a reason why there's that space for school yeah. and there's that space for them to recoup. So in every day, there is the right of personal spaces. It's not as if you are letting the person go. No, you yeah. are just giving the person time to. Yeah. You know, there's just sometimes I don't want to be in that crowd. Mm -hmm. I just want to, you know, do what I like to do. Netflix On and my chill. own. Just, you know, even in Shawama, eat Shawama and uh, do whatever I want to do, you know, in that space. There's also right to, you know, personal opinions. Yeah. Okay. There's right for me to like, I have the right to say what I say what I want to say in a conversation. There is a right to that, even in relationship. That's part of it. Also, privileges that I know. There's a right for me to call you. It's a privilege. Yeah. If I pick up my phone to call you, it is a privilege. It is not a right. Mm. For the fact that you are my husband and you travel, right? You travel and I don't call you. Do you understand? It yeah. is not your right that I must call you. If you need to speak to me, call me. But, but is, is, that, is, that not like, is that like a no, very thin line to no, be trading on? No, it's not. It is not a right. Because okay. me and you don't talk Finnish for house before you, you go travel. on that okay. trip. So we have an understanding. So, so it's, it's not his right for you to check in on him and vice versa. No, I will check in on you. Check in on you. That's it. For, but for you to expect me to call you every morning, I'll call you. How far? Afternoon? Where are you? Mm. Evening? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. That's overstepping the, yeah. the, the right that you're given. Right? So, like now, if I want to talk to my husband on a trip, I just send him a message and I say... Is this the right time to call? Yeah. Do you understand? That's also 
part of respect. Is this a right? Because he might be in a meeting, you call because you want to call, right? To I, don't call. Know, I don't know why <laughs> this is sounding very foreign to me. Because really, yeah, I you know, in, in a relationship, let's let, let's leave it in relationship mm. alone. Mm. Say some your spouse travels, mm. right? And you know, you're 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 now telling him that if I call you to, you know, just gist and check up on you, it's your privilege, it's not your right. You, you, you can't demand that of me, right? I mean, it, it, it's no, going to but sound but very... But it's going to, to say him. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, 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 you're you actually not him. getting my point. I will not tell my husband, ah, if I call you, is a privilege. No, yeah. I will not. Okay. But for me to now say, okay... So what if they husband, nag you and tell you, oh, you didn't call, you didn't do this, why, that, why are you not calling and, and all that? Because I felt you would be in a meeting. Yeah. Hmm. Me. I just felt it would not be a right time to yeah. call. Understanding also in these things happen. The right to understand it is actually a right yeah. also. The right to understanding one another yeah. in this space also happens. Do you understand? Yeah. I will not go and tell my husband that ah, if you travel, ah, if I don't call you money, ah, ah, is a pre- no, I will not do yeah. that. Okay. But because I have an understanding with him, you also also you also know his schedule. But sometimes those schedule changes. Yeah. His yeah. artillery changes. So you might know you don't want to call at a wrong time, but you never go wrong with a WhatsApp text, yeah, text, text messages. Message. So when you do that, he tells you, okay, babe, you can call. Yeah. And you call. Yeah. Do you understand? Vice versa. Even like me, when my children are out, probably they go for a... There are some mothers that call every... I don't. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. I don't. Not because I... I I am not I'm not... But it's a... It's a... It's a, it's a space you give to them. Yeah. For you to be trustworthy alone to say, okay, fine, you can go out with this person. Mm-hmm. You'll not be calling every minute. No, no. Yeah. Mm. That's why I, I, that's I think I think I understand what she's saying. The good thing about understanding rights and privileges is it helps you to appreciate things. Yeah, yeah. If you don't understand your rights and your privileges, you won't be able to appreciate some things. Mm. Now, I have issues with when people eat people's food <laughs> and they leave the table without saying thank you. Mm. You might have provided the money mm. for that food, mm. Eh? Mm. but. You have to be appreciative of the fact that someone made this food African and don't just see it as your right. <laughs> I got the money. Why? Well, who goes you? I got the money. I, I don't table. need to. Some men mm. will eat food. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I'm going there. Mm-hmm. Some mm-hmm. men will go. Some men will eat food and yeah. they will never say thank you to their wife. Mm. So, but is is that not like a privilege at that point it's, now? It's, of course, it's a privilege, right? But it's just courtesy that drives you to at least that's say thank you. Yeah. That's, the, that's the right to respect. Exactly. Mm. Right. So you appreciate the fact that that wife cooked that food. Yeah. Mm. Telling, okay, when you were a child, when you finish eating your mother's food, don't you say thank you? Oh. Uh, you is it a privilege? Oh, you have to. Well, 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 I mean, you don't want to eat again. You don't want to smile. It takes her takes her time to make a special dish. She doesn't want to boil it down and give you. Yeah. So for the fact that she, you know, took out time to give you something nice, you say thank you. So most times people, most times people think, for example, your brother has money. Your brother's money is not your money. Yes. So if your brother gives you money, that is a privilege, not mm. a right. Yes. So people want to demand for their brother's money. I demand beg me, their... I will demand for their money. They are my brothers. But what I'm saying is that it will help you to appreciate it's when true. your brother it's gives true. you something. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. like what, like what mm. I said in the beginning, it helps mm. develop the at- attitude of gratitude. Yeah. 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 Mm. That's right. And it gives conducive environment for yeah homes. for all to thrive when, when yeah. you know when you know that most of the things you get is a privilege, a privilege. Mm-hmm. yeah when you know most of mm. the things we do for each other yeah it's a privilege yeah, yeah. yeah. but we yeah. get too entitled yeah. and we yeah. begin yeah. to believe yeah. that's, 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 that's yeah. what you said in the beginning we now have the tendency to interswitch. Yeah. yeah. So most times, the things that are privileges, we, we see that. Yeah. yeah. And, and then the things that are, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so yeah. that's so, it. So in the home, mm. it's very important mm. for everyone, everyone mm. in the home. Mm. And I think parents, and there should be, this conversation of rights and privileges mm. should be taken down to the home. Mm. Yeah. Because the, the highest place that there can be an overlap is in the home. Because home is somewhere that you can easily take someone for granted. Mm, because, mm. of course, we live together. We mm. know each other very well. So, so it's very important that we get to... One of the ways to draw that line mm. is to appreciate every little thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Appreciate every mm. little thing. Now, I, I have nothing to lose for appreciating you for giving me my rights. Mm. But it's wrong 
that I get a privilege and I don't appreciate mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Yes. So why not appreciate for mm-hmm. even your rights? Let me yeah, shock but, you. But let me shock you. Even in the family life, yeah. making love to your wife. After you finish making love to your wife, you're meant to say thank you to each other. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Yeah. You're meant to say I, I thank you. Yeah. You're meant to yeah, say because, because thank you your too. wife can see, she can deny you sex yes. just as much as you can deny well, yes. her sex. Yes. No, but it's true. It's true. No, <laughs> you're meant to. No, I'm saying, I'm, I'm trying to tell you yeah. even those little things you feel, yeah, yeah. no be my right. I mm. don't marry her now. No mm. be me pay money. She's now my property. Yeah. No. But in their mm-hmm. telling you that <laughs> you say that. <laughs> how many times do you say thank you <laughs> even when you finish she has a right to tell you no when you finish it is only no she also like you said even when she fulfills your rights even if you feel that is, is your, your right, right. Mm-hmm. when you finish you say thank you mm-hmm. yeah. because now for your good as a man she yep. can afford not to, not yeah. for your good, yeah. but that mountain has to crumble. So when it crumbles, you say thank you. Mm. Yeah. So I, I think I think men usually overstep the right and privilege yes. bound. Yes. Honestly, no, 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 it's not, it's not, it's no. not a straight no. bullet. Especially no, wait, no. wait, now. It's not a straight bullet. Hold on, hold it's on. It's true. Now see, yeah, a lot of African men, mm. you know, yeah. who are still traditionally inclined, yeah. always misconstrue what is their right and what mm. is their what is mm. giving them as privilege, mm. especially in marriages. Mm. As she mentioned, mm. some men believe that it is their right to assess their wife whenever however yes right but then it is not because she's a human and a body of mm. her own and mm. can decide when she you know wants mm. to indulge or doesn't want mm. to yeah. but these men don't understand yeah. you know a lot of these men expect that because of you know i'm the one providing for the family mm. this woman was almost yes. she was she was clean she must cook mm. she must do all those mm. things and she must she do it well mm. right and they, they forget to take out time to appreciate mm. that oh these things mm. are actually exactly. work yeah. too because they demean the value yes. of that work yes. right yeah. so i think I think what happens here is that a lot of men, especially emphasis on men, mm. should be taught the ba- you know what is rightful, what mm. is due you as a man, the man of the house, because that's what mm. every that's what mm. they all say. I'm they the man pay, of the house. They pay right price. Mm-hmm. Mm. What is due you <laughs> and what is giving you yeah. as courtesy of love yeah. or as courtesy of companionship, exactly. mm. right? Because that's the only way. African women will start to enjoy their so marriage. The matter, truth whether of the matter. Is, whether truth right of the matter. Most times, then uh, the truth of the matter is that, uh, like we we had started earlier. The thing is, most of this thing is see finish. Mm. See finish. Most times when you done. Feel, see finish. When you feel this person, <laughs> this person is always there. This person is always there. The same man. We'll go and chase one of these small girls outside. Mm. And if you see the wedding, I do you know now. God is a mommy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As someone, hey, you never put daddy <laughs> like this. Hey, mommy. <laughs> you, you, you have experience. Let me tell you. So, <laughs> so <laughs> it's, 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 it's a case of, and you know this, this um, African concept that once I pay Money. The bride price. Once I pay that money, yeah. it becomes my property. Yeah. So I can use it any way yeah. I want. But what we forget is even that that your property has emotions. Yeah. yeah. It's a human being. Do you understand? Has a mind. So that's 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 yeah. the thing, you know. So it's, most times it's because you feel this person is always is it not that yeah. person. AKA Sanet. So <laughs> <energy. laughs> I just bring like you somewhere. No, no, no. I'm concerned about you. I like and your you're concerned about me. <laughs> so, so what I wanted to say is that whether it's a right or a privilege, be grateful. Yeah, just be, yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Actually, yeah. gratitude, gratitude. Yes. Yes. makes. Mm. The, because the because next person mm. do better than mm. because you can actually be deprived of your rights. Yeah. So yeah, be grateful. Yes. Be, be, really. of your rights, be grateful. You know? That's yeah. the whole essence. Yeah. Yeah. Be grateful. And another thing before before you say what you want to mm. say, people should learn to take responsibility. Oh yeah. Mm. So because it's a privilege, that doesn't mean you shouldn't do something. Yeah. So for example, you are my sister. Mm. You are a billionaire. Mm. You look like a billionaire. Mm. Let them know. Let them know. You know, and you, because you know that you giving me money is more like a privilege. Mm. And you're like, oh, it's a privilege. I'm not giving him any money. Mm. But there's a 
pathway and a point where we need to take responsibility. Mm. This is actually blood. Mm. This is actually my friend. Mm. You know, this person has been there for me. I will take responsibility. They are, yes, it's a, it's a privilege. Mm. But because I know I have the ability to do this, mm. let me do this thing for people. So I'm just saying people need to learn yeah. to take responsibilities. Mm. Parents need to teach their children to take responsibilities. That Okay, when you have a brother, a sister mm. that's not actually doing so well mm. and you have this money to give, mm. go out of your way and do that. Don't mm. just say it's a privilege, I'm not going to do it. Mm. You know? Then the person that they are doing for understand that is a privilege and not a right, so that that gratitude will be there. Yeah. Mm. And, yeah. and yeah. I, I need yeah, to say, part, to yeah. tell you how much important privileges are, if we live only by the rights, this place would be a very boring place. Yeah. 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 In yeah. fact, the beauty of this life is the privileges mm. we enjoy. Mm. The beauty is the privilege. If it was only... No, I don't want to but 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 that is yeah. true. But yeah. if you see someone that does extra, yeah, someone that does extra, I know that yeah. I'm not meant to be the but mm. they go out of yeah. their way, yes, yes. and that true is what that. we need to keep healthy relationships. True that. To do all those, you know, you know, even if I don't do this, nobody is the but mm. I yeah. want to do this. Mm. I want to do more. I'm left to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's right. the attitude true. we need to have. Before I, I close the curtain, it's, it's not his right to yeah. to demand for sex and other, but I just want to do it. I want to do, you know. And the man too should Why want to. Hey, is, 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 is the one that bent his mind. Is the one that is in his mind. He has said what is in his mind. Don't worry. So, but before we close the curtains, I'm just going to say this on a lighter note. All my friends that I don't call for their birthday and want to take it personally with me, it's a privilege, my friend. It's not your right. So, if I call you, tell me thank you. Thank you. And if thank I don't you. call you, swallow it like that. But that being said, really, I think we should take take out more time to understand you know the boundaries between what is our yeah. rights mm. expected from other mm. people and what privileges we receive from this said mm. other people mm. and then we also have to be you know show gratitude actually yeah. it doesn't take anything from you whether it's your right or whether it's mm. a privilege being granted you. you just yeah. say thank you be mm. grateful and then watch those things come naturally mm. and you know still be given to you in the mm. end of the day you guys mm. are amazing